Hello everybody, this is Mr. Brackett with an instructional video uh, on how to do uh, something that you might be thinking about doing uh, as teachers. Uh, you see I have my Ladybug software running right now. Uh, this Ladybug software is getting a live feed from my document camera. Uh, say I've got some virtual uh, students, uh, remote learners, uh, and I want to show them something that's under my document camera. But normally the way to do this would be to launch your Ladybug software, uh, which exists uh, on your desktop with this little Ladybug icon. Um, and what happens when that Ladybug software comes up is you get a couple of different things pop up. This window might pop up, or it should pop up, uh, and then also this little icon. Uh, assuming that your document camera is on, um, you should end up seeing a feed here, uh, a video feed. If you don't, uh, chances are if you hover over the little ladybug icon, uh, most of these icons won't be there. Uh, this display live images button has to be pushed down if you want to use the ladybug software to show live images. So, uh, assuming that you've got that pushed down and um, you're still not seeing an image here. Uh, you might want to power cycle your ladybug document camera. Uh, sometimes they get a little finicky. Um, but if we're if we're able to get the ladybug software up and we're able to show live videos, uh, then we're halfway there. We're thinking to ourselves, all right, all I got to do is get a Google Meet going. So I'm going to take half my screen and I'm going to devote it to the Ladybug software. I'm going to take the other half of my screen and I'm going to devote it to a Google Meet. So then doing this, um, I'm just going to create one here really quick. Um, so then join now. Uh, and so you see I've got on the one side uh, a picture of me uh, doing this video uh, and I've got over here uh, the uh, ladybug document camera so I could put something under here like okay kids we're gonna read this and so uh, let me read that to you and so then I'm able to show that to them and if I'm presenting my screen by hitting present now and I present the entire screen um, then my students would be able to see uh, the thing, um, you know, since there's nobody else in here, of course, uh, you're not seeing what they would be seeing, but you get the picture, right? Um, now, in the event that you have problems with this, um, like, for example, uh, the ladybug shows up, um, but you don't show up, your camera feed doesn't show up. Um, we discovered, especially if you your mute uh, camera uh, button uh, automatically turns on or turns off, uh, if that ends up being uh, something that you experience. Um, what we discovered is that um, you want to go into settings for the Google Meet and click on the camera. And you can see here that the camera that Google Meet is using is the HP High Definition camera. Uh, and that's what I want because that's the one that's right on my, uh, on my laptop. Um, if it said something else, like maybe it said visual presenter, that would kill uh, the camera uh, in Google Meet uh, because you can't have uh, your Chrome browser and also your Ladybug software fighting over uh, the document camera. So in situations where you have uh, issues with um, the document camera not showing up perhaps or uh, your webcam not showing up, uh, keep in mind that you've got two different cameras. Here I have my webcam here I have my document camera. Two different cameras that the that your computer is pulling uh, data for. 
and then two different programs that are trying to figure out, well, what should I be looking at? Your Ladybug software is not set up to pull a video from your webcam. So uh, the Ladybug software should be pretty straightforward. Uh, but Chrome uh, and a Google Meet inside of Chrome, uh, you might have to specifically say, hey, you should be using my high def webcam um, in order to fix problems. Uh, so hopefully that helps you uh, a little bit. Um, I know there are a number of, of people in the district who've had video camera uh, problems on their computers. Uh, so this video, hopefully that'll fix uh, that issue. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.